all of you today i am going to explain some hots related to your examination point of view or competition point of view okay here one is a circuit has a fuse of 3 ampere okay what is the maximum number of 60 watt 220 volt bulbs that can be safely used in the circuit okay here c is equal to 60 watt 60 watt that means power of one bulb is 60 watt okay let number of bulbs is equal to n okay therefore power of n bulbs is equal to 60 into n he is equal to 220 volt according to your question and circuit has fuse of 3 ampere therefore i is equal to 3 ampere okay we know that P is equal to P into I. Okay. Here, P M. Here, power of n bulbs is equal to sixty into n. P is equal to two hundred twenty into I is equal to three amperes. Okay. 60 into n is equal to 220 into 3. Okay. Here again we repeat. 60 into n is equal to 220 into 3. Okay. And n is equal to 220 into 3 upon 60 okay this zero cancel to this zero okay 3 to ja 6 and 2 11 ja 22 therefore n is equal to 11 hence hence 11 hence maximum number of bulbs maximum maximum number of bulbs is equal to 11 amps okay that means in this circuit we can connected maximum 11 bulbs okay now i am going to deal another hot questions like force acting between two parallel current carrying conductors which are placed in uniform magnetic field force acting between two parallel current carrying conductors which are placed in uniform magnetic field okay this is the force of magnetic do you know magnetic force is always weaker than electric force okay and magnetic force is acting on the moving charge particle only while electric force can be acted on either charge is rest or in motion okay this is the difference between magnetic force and electric force here we assume that two parallel current carrying conductors placed in uniform 
मैग्नेटिक फील्ड प्लेस्ड इन यूनिफॉर्म मैग्नेटिक फील्ड बी मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इज डिनोटेड बाय वेक्टर बी बिकॉज इट इज अ वेक्टर क्वांटिटी आई एम्पियर करेंट इज फ्लोइंग थ्रो देम ओके एल बी द एल इज कॉल टू लेंथ ऑफ दे कंडक्टर कंडक्टर हियर टू पैरेलल करंट कैरिंग कंडक्टर प्लस इन यूनिफॉर्म मैग्नेटिक फील्ड एंड आई एम पियर करेंट इज फ्लोइंग थ्रो देम एल बी द लेंथ ऑफ द कंडक्टर्स देन अ फोर्स इज एक्टिंग between them then a force is acting between them is f newton this force is if if f newton of force is acting between they two parallel current current carrying conductors conductors okay this force depends upon following three factors okay f varies as i that means if large amount of current is flowing through the conductor then force is also a strong f varies b where f is the magnetic force acting between two parallel conductors and b is the magnetic field f varies l combining combining we have we combine combine <coughs> unification is the main principle of the physics okay f varies i into b into l that implies f varies F is equal to F is equal to K into I into B into L. Here K is a constant. Here K is a constant. Constant. Okay. From experiment. from experiment it is found that from experiment experiment okay k is equal to 1 so we put the value of k in equation 1 from from 1 we have okay f is equal to i into b into l because k is equal to 1 i i b l here you can see f is equal to i i into b into l this is the फोर्स एफ इज इक्वल टू आई बी एल ओके दिस इज द मैग्नेटिक फोर्स एक्टिंग बिटवीन टू पैरल कंडक्टर्स फोर्स आर ऑल्सो रिप्रेजेंटेड इफ द बोथ कंडक्टर्स आर प्लेस्ड इन यूनिफॉर्म मैग्नेटिक फील्ड एंड करेंट इज फ्लोइंग इन द सेम डायरेक्शन देन द एग नेचर ऑफ एक्टिंग फोर्स विल बी एट्रैक्टिव ओके If the direction of flowing current is opposite to each other, 
and both conductor are also placed in uniform magnetic field vector b then the nature of the acting force is repulsive okay this is the <coughs> questions for mcqs okay now remaining hots are explained by me in next class till thank you jai hind have a nice day